So my number three film that shaped my 2022 is Gravity from 2013. Mm. This is a film directed by Alfonso Cuaron, uh, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. And the plot summary is two astronauts work together to survive after an accident leaves them stranded in space. And you know this movie did come out about 10 years ago, uh, but I do think uh, I rewatched it this year and it really kind of struck me how this film to me feels so relevant to especially this particular year in that we went through a, you know, the film was a lot about, you know, a disaster that is um, unexpected to somebody who has to deal with this in a situation where they are not trained. Like Sandra Bullock was up in space um, mm -hmm. just because she was a scientist. She's not an astronaut at all. She doesn't know what she's doing, but has to fight then to survive um, after this accident. Um, and uh, I, I was just watching this movie and realizing, wow, like this is really what, you know, we all went through in these last two years with uh, with COVID um, as some unexpected thing coming along um, that uh, was a um, historic disaster, like epic proportions. No one really expected it. Um, we all had to kind of deal in our own unique ways uh, to survive. Um, you know, sadly, there were still a lot of folks that didn't, you know, I think a million deaths in the U.S. and six million worldwide. So I think we can count ourselves lucky for having gotten through it. Um, but that the the movie is really also so much too about being reborn. Um, and mm -hmm. I, I do think that that is something that uh, this year, especially because I do feel like now we're finally on the other side of COVID. Like I think this year um, it entered the you know endemic spa stage. It's not like we're ever, it, the disease is going away, right. um, but we've opened back up, uh, at least in the United States, I should say, um, right. opened back up everything. Like I now no longer think of COVID. We have no masks going on anymore. Um, there's no vaccine checks at concerts and restaurants and all the things that we had to deal with uh, over the last two years, uh, or even last year when we were starting to kind of open back up, there was still this cloud of COVID over us. Um, and I definitely think that we're, at least I've, my experience this year was we're beyond that. I don't really think of COVID now anymore and feel definitely that, um, you know, we are now walking up into a new world. And I think one of the moments that really was always powerful to me in this film, even when I saw it is, is the ending when she finally is on back on earth and sort of mm -hmm. climbing out of the, um, the pond that she lands in, you know, supposed to stand for, you know, humans evolving out of the primordial soup. Uh, but, you know, the camera sort of, uh, you know, is a low angle shot, center bullock standing there. It's this huge hero moment. She's finally, she's made it. She survived. Mm -hmm. And now she is again, reborn. And what is she going to do now? And I think that is something that, uh, you know, I really felt it struck me this year in watching this film. It's like, this really is about that. Um, to me. Um, and, and like I said, too, like a lot of the experiences up into that, I feel like 2022 is us coming out of that, that pond. Um, and then the past moment that all the moments that we went through over the last two years were things she was dealing with. Like she's basically alone in this whole movie. And there was a lot of isolation associated with COVID quarantines, lockdowns, uh, people sort of making up, it up, up as they go along, you know, you kind of go from one uh, surge of uh, different variants to another, you know, she moves to one stage where she thinks, oh my gosh, finally, I made it to this other capsule, everything's <laughs> fine. And then boom, there's an explosion, or I made it to the escape hatch, and I'm going to go back to to this other uh station and then these you know the escape hatch is caught in a in a rope so she can't get it's like one thing after another which is also something i definitely feel like the last two years were like but we're finally on the other side of it um so it really resonated for me when i just happened to put this film on this year and you know i still do think the movie holds up really well too i hadn't seen it in a couple of years i don't really know what made me kind of decide to check this out um mm -hmm. but I, I remember seeing this in theaters 3d imax when it uh, when it premiered in 2013 and it really is like a, a a ride in every sense. I mean, it's a nonstop, you know, just uh, journey and something that uh, I, I think also shows like the power of, of film, like no other medium, I think, can put you through the experience of what this film puts you through. And I, you know, watching it at home like I did this year. Yeah, it's not the same as it was in IMAX 3D, uh, but I still kind of was sucked into that due to the amazing performance of Sandra Bullock, um, just the direction, the cinematography, the score. I mean, really everything involved here. But uh, yeah, now I think this movie will be associated with 2022 uh, in my mind just as much as it was 2013 when I first saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a great movie. Um, I had not seen it since it came out. Mm -hmm. In fact, this might have been my favorite movie of that year. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I just remember thinking that on on this rewatch. Um, yeah, the spectacle of it obviously is no longer 
the jaw dropping spectacle it was the very right. first time it cannot be but right. still everything you said holds true it's just beautifully made and once again i think you said this but and this struck me while watching the movie as well and that's why it has it had such enduring power in the year it came out was that it is very emotional yes. uh, as well um you know, it's not to compare it with other space movies, the greats, 2001, mm -hmm. what have you, which have a lot of skill and deeper meaning and, you know, are a lot of folks' top movies. I know yours. Yeah, so I was going to say it's well, mine. Yeah. But I think what this movie achieves is all of that skill for sure, but then also a lot of deep emotional emotionality. Mm -hmm. And the disaster that we are talking about could be COVID, uh, which is as global and touches everybody or, or it could be very personal you mm -hmm. know in one's own life whatever however so you want to take it and I think that is really captured in her performance and how the movie is put together the it lets the movie breathe mm -hmm. uh you know and but it lets it breathe in a warm way there's a lot of breath in 2001 is but it's very cold uh it's more cerebral mm -hmm. yes yeah, versus cerebral, right. here the breathing because of her performance. And I just think the partnership that Quran and Sandra Bullock had, like I, I, I remember watching so many interviews of, of him just saying that she is gravity, you know, she yeah. he oh, would say that all yeah. over and over again. And it really sort of that, that shines through the movie that this is a partnership between the actor and the filmmaker mm -hmm. in a movie like this, which normally would be like the actors are just pawns, you know, in right. my grand vision. Mm -hmm. And that's why this movie is so special, I think. But at the same time, I've never really thought of watching it again. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe mm -hmm. that's my own personal thing with space movies that I really enjoy them, really appreciate them the first time they come out. But but I have I bought all of them. I was reflecting <laughs> on that whenever yeah. they've because they've vowed me so much in the theater, yeah. but I've never had the desire to go and watch it again for whatever reason. But I was very happy to rewatch this and and maybe now I will rewatch the other ones too, <laughs> which I did enjoy a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 2001 is different because that sort of has gained, you know, elder right. statesman master class status. But the other ones I haven't really gone and rewatched over and over again. But mm -hmm. I think this might made me do that. Yeah, no, no. I mean, you're right about the difference of this film really is it's so grounded so much in this woman's like emotional survival journey. I mean, it's a survival story um, in so many ways uh, right. that could like, again, apply to any kind of disaster. And it, it's that her desire to survive and what she's going through and the moments that she feels like, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to die. And there's that moment in the, right. that one capsule where she gives up. And, you know, that is something where to your point, not only just COVID, but anytime you face some major struggle, there are moments that you feel, you know what, forget it. It's not worth fighting anymore. Um, and then there's that great scene with George Clooney kind of coming back into the mm -hmm. capsule. It's a hallucination, but it's still, she, he gives her that pep talk. Um, and it also just shows, you know, the power of, the people around you that can give you the strength when you're kind of lacking it um, to go through that, uh, that experience. So yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. glad you rewatch it again. I don't really know why this struck me as something to rewatch. Cause I, I've barely seen this film since theaters either. Um, Cause thinking that, Oh, there's no way it could, the spectacle can't be there. You're not in IMAX. It's not 3d, but to your point, I mean, it's not really the spectacle that makes this movie special. It's that right. uh, her performance and that emotional journey. Yeah. And human connection too, like that scene, which I'd forgotten when she's, sort of connected with some folks in Asia and she's oh, carrying yeah. the dog mm -hmm. and yeah. the child and, and just like that power of human connection, uh, which resonates a lot in, in sort of COVID circumstances in an obvious way, but also life in general, you know, those mm -hmm. days and weeks when you're kind of feeling lonely and disconnected and just like a random human connection with somebody at the grocery store right. or what have you can be so powerful. I've had so many of those experiences in my life and still mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that was, that was a very powerful scene. Yeah, definitely. It actually funny you mentioned that because it was reminding me of uh during covid like during the lockdowns and things like we would do those zoom calls and it'd be like oh yeah i'm right. sort of using the technology like she kind of was to connect to somebody else because you're you know you have to because you're isolated you can't do anything else hey there it's alex if you like the review and discussion kron and i just had make sure you subscribe to our channel movies that shaped us to get full episodes every other wednesday kron and i cover a topic around important people places events and moments in our lives and then explore it through three of our favorite movies subscribe right now or follow our podcast on spotify or apple Podcasts via the link in the description below hope you join us for the journey